Speaking about Silver and Gold Eagles, a, a press release was recently released um, that spoke about a ceremony that you attended um, where you were able to strike the very last uh, 500 Silver and Gold Eagles and the very first 500 and Silver and Gold Eagles. And I think, you know, thinking about how many the Mint struck, you know, from 1986 to 2021, it's somewhere over 600 million coins between the Silver and Gold Eagles. And you were there to strike the very last um, of that series and the very first of a series that could be around for decades. Uh, as a collector myself, I, I'd love to get your thoughts on what it was like to be there that day. How did that ceremony come to be? Um, and just hear that, hear that piece of our history. Well, the idea came around late, very late. Um, and the idea wasn't my idea. It came from a guy by the name of Ron Harrigal, who used to run the, the dice shop, and he was a coin guy, and I've known him for years and years and years. He's a great guy, retired recently. Um, but he called me one day and said, why don't you guys, why don't you do something like this? And he told me what it was. Uh, and I said to myself, that's a pretty good idea. Um, and I thought my job was then to go to our marketing and manufacturing mm. people who all didn't think it was a great idea because it was so late in the process but what the concept was, was to mint uh, the last of the silver and gold eagles, uh, 500 apiece, uh, so 1,000 um, of each denomination, and then mint the brand new ones um, and uh, have 500 of those and, and then combine the sets as a four coin set. Uh, and that I said, well, how about I go up and do it myself, uh, which I did. Uh, so I manufactured every one of them, minted them, uh, with the help of some of the employees at West Point. Uh, and I had John Mercanti uh, there, the former chief engraver, great friend of mine, and Joe Mena, uh, who I had hired, another good friend. And, and Joe was an understudy to John, uh, and, and Joe learned most of his trade from John. So I had John and Joe strike the coins. Uh, I had Ellen, uh, who was a superintendent up there, strike coins and, and some employees that had never done it before, strike mm. some coins. Um, but we, the, the last uh, 500 and the, and the first 500 uh, are gonna be auctioned off uh, by Stacks and Bowers, I believe, in September. It's gonna be a very rare set because it's the first of the, first of the new ones and the last of the old ones uh, and the 500 and that's it.